Hi guys! Welcome to the first video of this channel. My name is Aki and I am currently a college student residing in the Philippines. This channel is about me showing my journey on my game development career. Fun fact about me actually, I am in a game development course. A course where we actually learn how to create code and create games during our classes. Which is, you know, kinda nice I guess. I was actually fond of developing games ever since I was 13 years old which is already kinda long, but I really haven't gotten myself to actually complete or finish a game and publish it on any platform. But recently, I actually gotten myself to actually commit to creating games during my downtimes. With that said, let us take a look at the game I've been developing recently, Bouncy Block. A little background for the game, I actually started with creating 2D games, which I hope I will develop in the long run, and eventually publish on Steam. However, I soon later found many difficulties knowing the ins and outs of the engine. I also decided that I actually wanted to create my own 2D assets instead of buying them. Which led me to this. I decided to start small. So what better way to start than with the mobile game? I actually got inspiration from mobile games such as Flappy Bird. I wanted a game where players would be hooked to playing during their downtimes. A game that possesses a design that is accessible to all. This game tasks player to jump, avoiding the small gaps in the blocks below in order to survive and rack up points. So far, within the two days I've been working on this game, I was able to create a menu, and I was also able to implement a procedurally generated script where it will generate blocks once the user reaches a certain vicinity. To further explain this concept, let us take a look at the game from a zoomed out point of view. As soon as the player is 5 units away from the next chunk range, a block or blocks will appear. It would also sometimes not generate a block which would act as the obstacle the player will need to avoid. Taking a look at our code, which I have learned through YouTube, the script gets the different blocks from the grid map I have made wherein the grid map consists of the blocks that will generate in our world. This part right here serves as switch axis and until where the script will generate our blocks. Basically. I have made it so that it would only generate blocks in one straight line, or in this case, the z-axis. As we go back to our 3D editor, you could see that there is one straight block placed below the player. I implemented this design to allow the player an allowance of time wherein he or she would be able to wait an ample amount of time before encountering obstacles. This will avoid surprising the players with obstacles right in the start of the game. If you haven't noticed by now. I also implemented a faulty scoreboard. The scoreboard adds scores as long as the player jumps, which I would eventually work on with Area 3D and fix it in a way so that the player would only score points when he jumps above obstacles and successfully lands on another block. I also implemented a game over screen. This screen, however, still does not show the score the player got and the highest score he has gotten. I still haven't learned how to create global variables wherein they will get stored in a certain database, but I plan to eventually do so. The menu is also on the offside. Personally, I do not enjoy looking at it, and I will change this in the near future to make it more appealing. With all this said, I would appreciate every feedback or criticism you would have. Any feedback would help me to learn and create a game that is more appealing and more fun for players. I also plan to implement a coin feature and un unlockable characters to give players purpose for the game. Characters such as a playable pug, a playable person, or even a playable spaceship for that matter. And that's pretty much about it. If you actually enjoyed this video and would like to follow me on my journey of developing games, feel free to subscribe below. Till next time!